Nothing is perfect. Life is messy. Relationships are complex. Outcomes are uncertain. People are irrational. I don't have a girlfriend, but I do know a woman who'd be mad at me for saying that. Save a boyfriend for a rainy day and another in case it doesn't rain. Falling in love and having a relationship are two different things. Assumptions are the termites of relationships. I'm not the girl who always has a boyfriend. I'm the girl who rarely has a boyfriend. I like the bad boy types. Generally, the guy I'm attracted to is the guy in the club with all the tattoos and nail polish. He's usually the lead singer in a punk band and plays guitar. But my serious boyfriends are relatively clean cut, nice guys. So it's strange. Treasure your relationships, not your possessions. A relationship requires a lot of work and commitment. Nothing defines humans better than their willingness to do irrational things in the pursuit of phenomenally unlikely payoffs. This is the principle behind lotteries, dating, and religion. Do not just look at your boyfriend as just a boyfriend. Look at him as a friend, too. Real magic in relationships means an absence of judgment of others. You can't stop loving or wanting to love because... When it's right, it's the best thing in the world. When you're in a relationship and it's good, even if nothing else in your life is right, you feel like your whole world is complete. However successful you are, there is no substitute for a close relationship. We all need them. If you don't have a valentine, hang out with your girlfriends. Don't go looking for someone. When it's right, they'll come to you. If there hadn't been women, we'd still be squatting in a cave eating raw meat because we made civilization in order to impress our girlfriends. I change my mind so much I need two boyfriends and a girlfriend. I don't know the first real thing about the dating game. I don't know how to talk to a specific person and connect. I just think you have to go to person by person and do the best you can with people in general. If you can lie, you can act, and if you can lie to crazy girlfriends, you can act under pressure. I've never been Romeo who meets a girl and falls for her immediately. It's been a much slower process for me each time I've gone into a relationship. You know, the man of my dreams might walk around the corner tomorrow. I'm older and wiser, and I think I'd make a great girlfriend. I live in the realm of romantic possibility. Right now, I'm pretty single. My career is my boyfriend. I'm dating a woman now who evidently is unaware of it. I'm quite sensitive to women. I saw how my sister got treated by boyfriends. I read this thing that said when you are in a relationship with a woman, imagine how you would feel if you were her father. That's been my approach for the most part. Everything I buy is vintage and smells funny. Maybe that's why I don't have a boyfriend. It seems essential in relationships and all tasks that we concentrate only on what is most significant and important. I have a lot of boyfriends. I want you to write that. Every country I visit, I have a different boyfriend, and I kiss them all. At this year's Open, I'll have five boyfriends. My boyfriend calls me Princess but I think of myself more along the lines of monkey and retard. I've been dating since I was 15. I'm exhausted. Where is he? I fantasize about going back to high school with the knowledge I have now. I would shine. I would have a good time. I would have a girlfriend. I think that's where a lot of my pain comes from. I think I never had any teenage years to go back to. You show your vulnerability through relationships, and those feelings are your soft spot. You need to have a soft spot. I can't even find someone for a platonic relationship, much less the kind where someone wants to see me naked. I didn't have a financial need, and I wasn't very gifted at relationships. I probably was more like what we think of boys as being, 
hard to pin down and wary of commitment. Well, a girlfriend once told me never to fight with anybody you don't love. People could rationally decide that prolonged relationships take up too much time and effort and that they'd much rather do other kinds of things. But most people are afraid of rejection. We are constantly protecting the male ego, and it's a disservice to men. If a man has any sensitivity or intelligence, he wants to get the straight scoop from his girlfriend. I suppose I was a little bit of what would be called today a nerd. I didn't have girlfriends, and really I wasn't a very social boy. I'm 31 now. I think I'm beginning to understand what life is, what romance is, and what a relationship means. There are only two people in your life you should lie to, the police and your girlfriend. I am a hopeless romantic, and I love to spoil my girlfriends. Personally, I don't like a girlfriend to have a husband. If she'll fool her husband, I figure she'll fool me. I don't understand the whole dating thing. I know right off the bat if I'm interested in someone, and I don't want them to waste their money on me and take me out to eat if I know I'm not interested in that person. I have stepped off the relationship scene to come to terms with myself. I have spent most of my adult life being someone's girlfriend, and now I am happy being single. You know when I feel inwardly beautiful? When I'm with my girlfriends and we are having a goddess circle? I think more dating stuff is scheduling. It's needing people who understand your work schedule. Appearance is something you should definitely consider when you're going out. Have your girlfriend clip your nails or something like that. It's always been my personal feeling that unless you are married, there is something that is not very dignified about talking about who you are dating. If your best friend has stolen your girlfriend... It does become life and death. I was dating this guy and we would spend all day text messaging each other. And he thought that he could tell that he liked me more because he actually spelt the word you. And I just put the letter U. Maybe the most that you can expect from a relationship that goes bad is to come out of it with a few good songs. I think if I could have a boyfriend like my brother's, I'd be really happy. But without the brother thing... Which is, I'm an optimist that two people can be together to work out their conflicts. And that commitment, I think, might be what love is because they both grow from their relationship. I started dating older men, and I would fall in love with them. I thought they could teach me about life. In a relationship, you have to open yourself up. I always say now that I'm in my blonde years... Because since the end of my marriage, all of my girlfriends have been blonde. My boyfriend and I broke up. He wanted to get married and I didn't want him to. Rumors about me? Callista Flockhart, Pam Anderson, and Matt Damon. That's who I'm dating. Watching your daughter being collected by her date feels like handing over a million dollar Stradivarius to a gorilla. I used to be a real prince charming if I went on a date with a girl. But then, I'd get to where I was likely to have a stroke from the stress of keeping up my act. I've since learned the key to a good date is to pay attention on her. My girlfriend bought me a down jacket. She said it fit my personality. If you're a sports fan, you realize that when you meet somebody like a girlfriend, they kind of have to root for your team. They don't have a choice. I don't know any of us who are in relationships that are totally honest. It doesn't exist. Practically all the relationships I know are based on a foundation of lies and mutually accepted delusion. I stopped dating for six months a year ago. Dating requires a lot of energy and focus. Last year, my boyfriend gave me a painting, a very personal one. I really prefer personal gifts or ones made by someone for me. Except diamonds. That's the exception to the rule. What I remember most about Junior Homecoming 
was my date getting sick afterwards. That kinda sucked. Then, senior year, someone got gum in her hair when we were dancing. She had to get one of the chaperones to take her to the office and cut up her hair. I felt really bad for her, but it worked out fine. Things were a lot simpler in Detroit. I didn't care about anything but boyfriends. I'm not cynical about marriage or romance. I enjoyed being married. And although being single was fun for a while, there was always the risk of dating someone who'd owned a lunchbox with my picture on it. Thank God I never got in a fight. All of the jock dudes hated me, but all of their girlfriends thought I was nice so they wouldn't touch me. It was infuriating to them. It's weird. I never wish anything bad upon anybody except two or three old girlfriends. It was just that we had this phenomenal honeymoon relationship that just kept on going. You are not alone with a guy until you are a proper age. You don't go to certain levels with men until you are married or you have a certain relationship. Relationships in general make people a bit nervous. It's about trust. Do I trust you enough to go there? I've had enough boyfriends and enough issues. I'd seen enough train wrecks. 